so here we are with uh, another question on uh, designing of uh, logic gates to get us a logic output a boolean expression output so here there are three signal values present a b c but the number of terms that are present in this boolean expression it is 3 so we have increased the number of terms and there are three signal values so far the questions which we have discussed it was a simple expression involving two three or four signal values but it was a simple expression involving two terms or one term but here we have three signal values a b and c but there are three terms as well okay a c b bar c a b c bar so this is a new thing so let us design it so first we will assign the different signal values a b c then by looking at the expression we will try to figure out which logic gates will be required so here there is a and operation between a and c so and gates will be required the plus sign indicates or gates will be required the inversion on b and c b bar c bar and end gates not gate or inverter will be required so first term we'll target each term separately we'll try to get each term separately and then we'll combine them together okay first a and c and operation so we'll give a and c to a two input and gate to get a c then is b bar c so for that b is passed through an inverter or not gate to get b bar then it is ended with c to get b bar c now this a b c bar now here uh, the question is it depends on what is being given in the question now we have logic gates which can have three inputs multiple input logic gates are available it can have two inputs three inputs four inputs five inputs whatever so if in the question it is being given that it you can use a three input and gate or a three input or gate or a three input whichever gate then you can directly uh, do this by just that a you give a you give b and you give c with an inverter to a three input and gate and we'll directly get the expression a b c bar but here nothing has been mentioned like that so we cannot use a three input and gate so we have to do it in steps so how we'll do it let's see so first we will have to get a b okay first we'll have to get a b okay so for that you take a here so it can get a little bit confusing here so you follow me carefully we will take a first okay so this is a we'll give it to a two input and gate a and then we'll get b so i'm taking b from here a and b so this gave us a b so we got a b then c for c bar we will have to take c here from here we will pass it through a inverter we got c bar now we have to and these two a b and c bar give it to a two input and gate to get a b c bar okay see to get a b c bar 
we cannot use a three input and gate here because nothing has been mentioned like that we can only use two input gates so for that we have to break it into two parts first we'll have to get a b so we took a b gave it to a two input and gate we got a b then we took c signal passed it through an inverter or a not gate to get c bar then we ended a b and c bar to get a b c bar okay in this way we got a b c bar now we have got all the terms we have got a c we have got b bar c we have got a b c bar again the question here if we are permitted to use three input gates then we can directly pass it through a three input or gate a c then b bar c then a b c bar we can directly pass it through a three input gate and we will get the output directly but here we are not there is nothing like that mentioned in the question so we have to go by the two input gates okay so for that first we have to pass these two terms through a two input or gate which will get ac plus b bar c then we will pass this output with a two input or gate which will get ac plus b bar c plus abc bar plus here means or operation okay so this can be a little bit confusing for you so you follow the steps carefully you pause the video at any instant where you do not understand again rewind it and watch it because a lot of uh, connections have been made here so i de deliberately took this question because of a lot of concepts that are involved here here it involves three signal values and three terms here we have a three uh, a term involving three signal values and i deliberately told you that we cannot use a three input get directly because it has not been mentioned in the question so we have to go by the two gate uh, concept okay so finally we got the output it was a bit lengthy and a bit complex but we finally got the output okay there are much more complicated expressions than this so we will discuss it in upcoming videos but here i wanted you to make you understand about this concept okay so again the same steps first identify the signal values identify which logic gates are required then target the individual terms that are present in the expression then combine all the terms at last to get the output this is the output okay